Welcome to Lecture Online and now we're going to take, take a look at the catalyst. What is a catalyst? Well, let's read what we have written down here. It says a catalyst increases the reaction rate by lowering the activation energy. So here we have an example where we have two reactants and in order for them to react they have to have enough kinetic energy to make the reaction take place. And so this represents graphically the amount of activation energy. So only a small number of the actual collisions with these reactants will actually result in a reaction and of course once the reaction occurs then this is the amount of energy given off so this is what we would call an exothermic reaction more heat is given off than is needed for the reaction to take place but nevertheless for these collisions to, need, to indeed result in a reaction there must be enough kinetic energy here I have a graphical excuse me a graphical display of this where this is kind of a distribution of the energies of all the molecules in the reaction and notice that the vast majority of them do have energy but not sufficient let's say that this is the amount of energy required for the reaction to take place only a small number of reactors will actually result uh, when they collide will result in a reaction and will result, will result in the products so what a catalyst does it lowers the activation energy so a greater number of collisions will result in, um, in a reaction and therefore much more product will be uh, resulted with at a much higher rate. So what that really means is that the amount of activation energy required to make the reaction take place will be reduced with the presence of a catalyst. So the amount of energy uh, produced is still the same as before. It's still an exothermic reaction, but many more uh, reactants will react more quickly because of this lower energy requirement to get over the hump, so to speak, to get the reaction to take place. So many more molecules will have the required kinetic energy so that when they collide they will result in a reaction. So there's different kinds of catalysts. So one of the types of catalysts is what we call a heterogeneous catalyst, which is, a, which is where the reactants and the catalyst are in different phases. Usually what happens is the catalyst is some sort of metal that is placed within the reaction, within the gas or within the uh, liquid, so that the reaction will take place a lot faster. And what's special about it is that the, react, the uh, catalyst itself is not being consumed by the reaction. So the catalyst just sits there, it kind of forms a platform where the reaction will take place a lot faster. And we'll show you some examples of that in some later videos. Sometimes a homogeneous catalyst, catalyst can be something that's in the same phase as the reactant, so everything is in the same phase. In that case, usually everything is in a liquid form. And then, of course, sometimes you might have heard of catalysts in a biological sense. There's what we call enzyme catalysts that are very specific to a specific biological process that makes the biological process take place a whole lot faster. And we have a lot of these kind of catalysts in biological systems, such as the human body or animal body or so forth. And these catalysts really are remarkable in that the reaction rate goes up by a factor of a million to as much as a trillion times the normal rate without the catalyst. Without that enzyme, these reactions will virtually not take place. They're very, very necessary in biological catalysts. There's a lot of similarity to that in the chemical catalysts that we talk about. However, these are molecules that are very specifically formed by the body to produce a very specific task in a very special reaction within the body. So, but the overall process, the overall concept is very much the same. So now uh, hopefully you have some sort of idea of what catalysts are. In the next several videos we're going to show you some examples of how catalysts help in the production of certain kind of um, elements, not elements per se, but certain kind of molecules that are industrially very important or sometimes they're used in the cleaning up, for example, of otherwise hazardous gases. For example, in the catalytic converter, there is a name, catalytic converter, that takes the exhaust gas of a car before it spews out in the atmosphere, does something to it, allows very fast reactions to take place so the air that comes out, or at least the exhaust that comes out, is a lot cleaner in a sense than it would be if that, those catalysts, catalysts were not there.